What's up, YouTube? It's your friend Miriam, aka Lucky Number Seventy Eight, and something is seriously wrong with my webcam. Um, instead of actually taking the time to fix it, I'm gonna do this video for you like this. So I'm gonna look like I'm from the grid, the the grid from Tron. Uh, so enjoy that, and know that I am not a hologram and am a human being, or so I want you to think. Well. This month, in this exciting, strange, green universe, I got Japan Crate. <laughs> uh, this is the January 2016 premium box. And um, I, uh, I subscribed to a, uh, to a three month subscription of Japan Crate uh, as a uh, present from my parents for my college graduation. So, um, I more than likely will only be getting last month's box, this month's box, and, and next month's box. I, I haven't seen anything that really made me want to go out and spend more money on this because it's it's higher price than most subscription boxes and really what you get is snacks. So if you have a Japanese store near you, um, or relatively near you, or accessible to you, then um, you don't need this subscription. But it's really exciting to get these Japanese snacks. I try Japanese snacks I've never had before, and they always send along a little thing. Now this month, sugoi, uh, this month they had a little problem because their uh, Gudetama, uh, he's a little egg guy, um, their collectible was ruined in shipping, um, as were some of their snacks. So next month they're going to make it up with something extra special, but I don't know what. But this month, they didn't have time to fix it. So let's open this up. I think I've talked enough in my green and fuzzy glory. This is going to sound really weird if this ends up, if the video ends up okay, but somehow I doubt it. So let's open this up. I see a Pokemon and Where's Waldo up on top on the magazine. We're not going to look at the magazine because that's spoilers. But we have Where's Waldo or Where's Wally, depending on where you're from. Pikachu. Um, I think this is Gudetama a raspberry, and Hello Kitty, and a guy on the back. We're not going to open that up yet. And it says Nihon Kreto on the front in Japanese. So, here's a flyer, next item, suggesting some food-related anime, and, uh, Advertising a premium membership to Crunchyroll, including a 30-day free trial with this link, crunchyroll.com slash japancrate. So that's kind of nice. I might try that out. I don't really like official subs, but um, Crunchyroll is getting better. If you don't know that already, they're getting better. So first thing up on top, oh, there's so many things here always, but um, I'm going to start with something I've had before, and that is the pizza flavored pretz. Now what this is, is it's it's made by Glico, who makes the Pocky, and it's similar to the Pocky, um, oh, I forgot the name of them, and it's going to like flash back to me right after I finish this video, but um, they're, they're called Pocky's Friend, and they have, instead of, Pocky has the stick of some delicious cookie and a coating of chocolate or something on the outside. Um, Pokey's friend, whose name is, you know, slipping my mind, um, is the stick with a filling of the chocolate or whatever. This is the savory version. So it's pizza, and then there's a kanji I don't know there. Um, and they're made by the same company. They have a stick on the outside and a pizza flavoring on the inside. They're very good. I'm going to have one. And come in a nice little Glico foil package. I'm going to have half of one because it broke. Mm. And they're delicious. They taste like a pizza pie, but crunchy. So that's a great start because it's something I've had, something I enjoy. A big, big item here is Kalbi potato chips. Let's see, po 
potato cheap soup. Um, I don't know what flavor these are. I don't know what flavor these are, and I've had Talbi rather recently because they have shrimp chips that are available at my local Walmart, um, and they have potato potage or corn potage soup flavor that's available at my local Japanese store. But this looks like it has some sort of red flakes on it, so this could be some kind of spicy flavor. Um, the flavor is written in kanji, so I can't read it. So let's try this. Okay, the potato thing that I thought was Gudetama is this guy, this potato guy. I don't know if I like those. They're not what I was expecting. They got like a weird chili flavor. Um, and they're very sweet. I almost wonder if there's some shellfish in there, which is not my favorite. Obviously, I'm, I'm Jewish. I grew up kosher. So if there's shellfish flavors in things, often it's just not something I'm used to yet. Yeah, I don't know about that. I'll probably eat them, but that that flavor was a little bit of a. Okay, what's next? Are these those haichus? Yep, it says haichu in katakana. Um, these are by Morinaga. Not only have I had these, but these are available at like CVS, Walgreens. Um, obviously not with the Japanese packaging. Um, ah. Kekuchi. I assume that means pull or open or rip or something. So I'm going to have one of these just to get that flavor out of my mouth because, and I dropped two of them on the floor trying to get one, but um, these are delicious. There's nothing unusual about them. Um, the packaging is adorable in the Japanese version though, and there's, there's no way I can even hope to show you this, but it's got Japanese writing and little designs and it's very cute. So, let's have one of these. Mmm, strawberry bliss. It's like raspberry heaven from Azumanga Dayo. Mmm, I like that. Okay. The next thing looks like a drink powder. I don't usually make the drinks on cam camera. Mm, let's see. And it's Sakuma Pan Sparkling Gummy. It looks like it's orange flavor. So is this a gummy? I don't know if this is a gummy or a drink. I'm gonna open it up. It is a gummy. I'm glad I opened it. No, it's hard to show. It's orange soda flavored gummy. So let's see if that's any good. Mmm. Like many Japanese gummies, it's a harder gummy. You don't just chew through it, which I enjoy. I'm always the kind of person who likes thicker jerky, for instance. Um, also, like many Japanese sweets, it's not too sweet. You get the orange, natural orange flavor. You get the soda flavor um, without being just smashed in the face by sugar, artificial flavors, that, that fake tanginess that comes from some of the chemical oranges. So that, I like that a lot. So far, this is much better than last month. So far, last month I enjoyed it and there was only like one or maybe two things I didn't like. But there was nothing I liked this much, this quickly, except for the short, the Demitas Espresso um, Pokey. And as you can see, we've got a ton more things to go through here. Um, so let's see, here's the Where's Waldo thing. Oh, it says Where's Wally on it. And it is gum. Lotte Fitz, Ichigo, and MK. I think Ichigo is strawberry. Oh, MK is Mirku, so milk. So it's strawberry and milk gum. 
I can't imagine anything tasting as good as strawberry and milk together. Um, that was, I believe, the flavor of the high chew. I'm going to save this to share it with my parents because this seems like something they'll enjoy. It's a character they know who's not Japanese, um, but still really adorable. The writing's in Japanese, except for the fits. I like this. This is a good inclusion, and I'm going to save it and share it with my mom and dad. Um, next thing in here, is this a pen? Let's see, it's got Japanese writing on it, but it says D-D-U-N-G, Soul. Looks like a pen. Yeah, it's a pen. It wrote on my finger. So it's very cute. It's got sort of a Lolita kind of design on it. Goth lolly thing going on with like a little blue gem on the end. And if there's one thing I'm a sucker for, it's Japanese stationary items. Uh, so... Oh, it's got a little white gem on the base there, too. This is adorable. This would cost a couple dollars at a Japanese store, so I'm very happy to have that. Um, let's see what's next. Oh, it's got another writing implement. It's another pen, also writes black, and it seems to be from the same series. It says, just be yourself, which is something I always try to do. Yep, definitely the same series. Got a um, white gem on the bottom and a pink gem on the top. And it's got little strawberries all over it. So there's it, there's clearly a, a pink and white strawberry theme running through this box, because this is the third pink and white strawberry item. Um, so that's adorable. Um, those will be used at work. I work as a writer um, at a independent film studio, so there will be opportunity for me to use those. Those are a great inclusion. Next. Oh, here's the Pokemon thing. Um, and this one, again, has a English translation, so I can cheat. Latte Pokemon Chewing Candy, product of Japan, uh, distributed by Asian food grocer, San Francisco, California. And uh, it's got a picture of Eevee, and then the fairy evolution of Eevee, whose name is just slipping my mind at the moment because... I've had a 60-hour work week this week. <laughs> Not an excuse, but it's my excuse. Um, and I'm actually going to pull all the little pieces of gum out here because they are too freaking cute. These are, I'm going to keep the paper wrappers. The, the first one is Eevee. There's only five pieces of gum in here. but Next one is um, Squirtle and Wartortle. And some sort of flower Pokemon. Next one is uh, Wartortle Pokedex page, which I love Wartortle. The next one I don't recognize, but it's on a glossier paper. And it's some sort of Pokemon from a later generation, which I'm not just a first genner, but I don't know a lot about the later generations, unfortunately, but he's pretty cute. And then the last one is three Pokemon I don't recognize from a later gen, but they're really cute. So that is freaking adorable. And I like the inclusion of two packs of gum because gum lasts a long time. Everyone likes gum, except for my friend Daniel hates gum. Um, but uh, everyone I've ever met, except one of my closest friends, loves gum. So... <laughs> Uh, you can't go wrong including gum unless, yeah um, next thing in here, the cool thing about the premium crate, they always include a drink it says lemon C and um, I've heard of lemon she um, suki sukito I don't know what that means but um it is made by Sangria, which um, is the company that makes my favorite brand of Ramune. So um, I, I've tried a few. I've tried Kimura, yeah, but this is my favorite brand. They're a very large company in Japan. They're very prominent. So I will try their Lemon Shi. 
Smells great. It smells like fresh squeezed lemon juice and water or sparkling water. You know, it's got a bright yellow color, but otherwise it literally just tastes like Sprite. I'm very surprised by the flavor of this. I'm gonna wait and read the card on that one because I'm clearly missing something. Because to me it just tastes like lemon lime soda with a slightly lemony or aftertaste. N nothing wrong with that, but I expect something more unique from Japan Crate. But I will uh, read more on that at the end of the video. So the next thing here looks like a candle. I bet this is the DIY kit. One of the things about the Japan, the premium crate, they always send a little thing that's a, a toy, or a, I, th I assume that's what the pen was, the pens were, um, a drink and a DIY crate, I mean a DIY item, uh, with um, the premium crate. So uh, this is Kabaya Jushi Shortcake Aji. And aji means flavor and juicy means juicy. So but the the brand is Ju letter C. Let's see. Oh. Smells delicious. It smells like a like a nice fresh short cake, but it's this little Jetsons E tablet. So I'm not going to eat this right away because I don't know if this is something you drop in a drink or if it's like a lifesaver. I'm going to wait till I read the information card on that one. This is clearly something you drop in milk. And I'm wrong again because it's a gummy. Okay. Karu... <laughs> oh, that's the name of the company. I don't know what Calpis is. Cal Calpis. I don't know what that is. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> this is something I'm heading into completely blind. Here's the... It smells a little like cleaning supplies. It's white and circular. It's clearly the same gummy company as the orange ones because they have the same texture or flavor. Those taste pretty good though. They mostly taste like cream. Um, I'll wait till I read the information card to pass more judgment on that, but they taste pretty good. They taste like cream. Um, they're gummies. I like them. Something called Gaba. Also made by Glico. Um, it says mental balance on it. I don't know what that means. I'm going to try one. Oh, and they're cute. They're little chocolate balls. So let's see what's inside. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mmm. Not what I expected at all. The little chocolate balls are solid, rich, creamy milk chocolate. They taste like hot chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. So I don't know what GABA is. GABA powder is listed on the ingredients list. But that just tastes like delicious, delicious chocolate. Concerned by this next thing. It looks like a sweet potato. Well, it says choco, which is chocolate. It looks like chocolate. It says chocolate, but it's got a sweet potato on the bag. So I'm really concerned about this. These are individually wrapped. It just says chocolate in English on the bag. It doesn't look like chocolate.
It tastes like sweet potato and chocolate. Not a combination I ever thought I'd taste, but a really tasty one. Mmm. I could get addicted to those really easily. It's funny because I just started a diet, but when Japan Crate comes, mm-mm. Mmm. Here is an uh, Hello Kitty Ichigo Pretz by Kabaya, and it's clearly a Pocky. Um, sorry, it's very hard for me. I try to say Pokey, which is the correct pronunciation, but I end up saying Pocky a lot because I talk to English speakers very often. I wonder why. This has cute little Hello Kitty designs on the package, and it's clearly just Pokey. Um, surprisingly hard to get into. There we go. Um, hmm. The biscuit is sweeter than Pocky. There's less cream, but it's more strawberry-y. That's really good. Okay. And the last item in the box, and then we are done until we read the information card, is Pokey. <laughs> is what appears to be just plain Pokey. I'm surprised to see this. This is just like the most common version of Pokey. It's brown chocolate over white biscuit. Or cookie. So, let's try it, I guess. Or see if that's what it indeed is. And it is. I'm very surprised this in it was included in Japan Crate because you can get this at your local Kroger, HEB, Hannaford, whatever your local grocery store is, Randall, Safeway, some Albertsons, Shaw's. I mean, name more grocery stores. No. Um, there's nothing special about this. I mean, it's delicious. It's pocky. But why? <laughs> okay. So, all right. That's a little disappointing. Like, especially to end on. Especially when last month they sent the best pocky I've ever had. But... Let's recap it. Um, they got a photo contest on the first page. A continuation of their manga, which I will read later because I love their little manga. More manga. More, more manga. All right. Here's the what's, what is everything. Okay. Asahi Kalpis Gummy. Kalpis, Kapiko is a popular drink in Japan. Oh, it's that milk drink. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's that milk drink. So that's why it tasted vaguely milky. That makes sense. Milk chocolate pokey. These are a fancier version of the original chocolate cream pokey. An extra crispy cookie stick covered in a layer of smooth creamy milk chocolate. Okay. Well, okay, so they're fancier, apparently. Hello Kitty Strawberry Pretzel. Similar to Pucky, these biscuit sticks were hand-dipped in a delicious strawberry coating by Hello Kitty herself. Sure they were. Juicy Shortcake. These chip candies come in a tube of 15, and they're delicious. The ever-popular shortcake flavor is a special release to celebrate the 50th anniversary of this candy. I ripped it off, but they've got a candle design, and then the part around the top that I ripped off was a flame. So let's actually try this now that I know it's a candy and not like a fizzy drink. Mm. It just tastes like delicious vanilla. Mm. Okay. Okay, the potato chips. Usushi Ume potato chips. So this is Ume, which is plum 
No wonder this was weird and slightly sweet with red flakes. It's plum flavor. Why? Take that out very grossly. Let's see if it's any better now that I know that I'm expecting plum and potato together. Nope, still weird. But that's the kind of thing I appreciate from Japan Crate because it's a perfect example of something I would never have tried. If I had tried it, I wouldn't have known what it was. And it gives me a greater cultural um, insight into Japan's culinary culture. So, even though it's weird, I don't mind it. Now then, they say, where's Gudetama? See page 16 for details. I'll do that later. Sparkling orange gummy, slightly sour yet sweet gummies with a taste that makes you feel as though you're biting into a perfectly ripened orange pick off the t picked off the tree. Um, <coughs> they're showing a slightly different picture than what I got. Mine did have a picture of a soda bottle on it. This just looks like an orange. So somehow I got one that was slightly soda flavored, which is fine because it was delicious. Uh, Fitz strawberry and cream gum. The sweet strawberry and milk gum makes for a smooth and creamy experience. Look, f This look for Wally, the Japanese version of where it's Waldo edition, includes a special car that challenges you to find Waldo. Cool. Pokemon pineapple candy. It's a cultural taboo to take food out of your mouth in Japan. Oops. So candy makers created candy that chews like gum while dissolving. That's cool. These chewy pineapple candies are a perfect example of that and even look like sticks of gum. Shockingly sweet and lovable like our friend Pikachu. Shockingly, I get it. He's electric type. Yam white chocolates. Okay. I thought these... I mean, like, it looked like a sweet potato. So these are... They yam what they yam. Um, these are individually wrapped, bite-sized treats. Um, a seasonal favorite in Japan. White chocolates mixed with sweet potato to create the ultimate mix of sweet and salty flavors. That's delicious. That shit, I would buy that in an instant. Okay, so the, the three things that were only in the premium crate. The GABA-infused stress-relieving milk chocolate. GABA is an amino acid that is said to relieve stress and anxiety. What could be better than chocolate that has proven to make you more relaxed? I don't know if it made me more relaxed, but it might have been the tastiest item in the whole crate. So that's good. Pizza Pretz. A delicious cheesy pizza experience condensed into snackable sticks. These guys pack the... Taste of cheese, tomato, and zesty pizza seasonings throughout the mess. It really did taste like pizza. And last but not least, Sukito Lemon Sea Drink. Just in time for the cold winter season, this refreshing lemon drink is packed with vitamin C to make sure that you stay healthy and happy. Well, I could use a little bit of that. I don't want to be sick on my week off. Mm. Still tastes like Sprite. Alright. Nice crate. So here's, are you serious? Okay. Here's sort of descriptions of what's going on with the calpis and the, well, I reversed it, but calpis sweet potato. And here's crunchy roll advertisement. And here's what was in the Sugoi crate, which I did not win. They do a thing like Loot Crate, where they include a extremely an extremely valuable crate full of interesting Japanese things, um, and one lucky winner gets it. So there was a Wii U, um, some Amiibo, a plush, Nano Blocks, a Gundam a candle set, a Turtle Egg, a plush, Kit Kat Pocky, Machikoro, good. Uh, what's happening in Japan for the new year, and then where's Gudetama? Uh, so the Gudetama thing was a pudding kit. Um, so February, the February crate will include something cool. And... Hmm. This is cool. <coughs> in February, all original and premium crates will include a replacement item that's worth at least twice as much as the DIY kit. 
including a Nintendo DS or a Pokemon character with a code to redeem a Pokemon prize pack worth $50. Lucky lottery items range from anime stationery kits to plushes, keychains, fun squishies, rement, and more. Very cool. Very, very cool. And then there's a uh, series of photos of people with their Japan crate, and that's the magazine. So, that was everything. Quick, 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 quick sticks remix, remix, great, recap. There's the word. Delicious sweet potato thing. I'll have to try this again and see if it's better than regular pokey, fancy milk chocolate. Slightly better than pokey, weird Hello Kitty pokey. By not Zico. Best item in the crate, GABA stress relieving chocolate. Worst item in the crate, but still I appreciate the novelty. Kalbi potato chips with plum flavor. Orange gummy. Orange soda gummy. Haichu. Pretz. Crunchy roll. Uh, discount. Uh... What else? Oh, um, juicy uh, shortcake flavor. Pokemon pineapple flavored gum. Where's Wally? Gum. And last but not least, definitely not least, these delightful little pens that I will certainly be using at work. So that's all. And that was a very long video. I tried to go as quickly as possible, but, you know, Japan Crate is an adventure. So I really appreciate the watch. Um, please le like, uh, leave a comment. I really would appreciate that. And subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, since I'm already running long, I'll just tell you you're beautiful. And uh, stay that way. And please keep watching. Peace.